Hey Rachel, it's Barna. You said you were coming this time. You ready to go? Why are you even bothering with her? She's such a freak. Nah, she probably just went out without me. I cannot believe I just took, I just spent the last two hours of my life being lectured about privacy. Uh, can I get a, a beer, a cheap beer please? Thanks. About being lectured about privacy issues in relation to patient confidentiality. Of course just... people are gonna make mistakes at times, but by and large, it's just logic. It's simple and easy. You're not gonna like go out there and say, Joe Schmo is completely, you know, has this disease or that disease. I think the confidentiality like, kind of loses it. And it depends on what field you're in, really, too. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't like to deal with the whole shit. No, I, I hear you with that. I part. like, I'm to hell with all social media, is what I say. I guess, like, the less connected you are, the, more, the fewer chances you have to make mistakes. But at the same time, it shouldn't be that it's going to dictate how and why I'm going to act. Well, in general, I'm not gonna like, go out there, so I don't see why I just wasted all this time in my life. Well, let me tell you this. When I see my name, my own office, my own spot, to help with social media, I don't fucking need it. I don't need it. Why would I need it? I'm a professional, you know? Adult. I don't need that stuff. Yeah, social media goes out the window once you're an adult, right? You don't even need to play those games anymore? Well, I mean, look at, like, you know, generations past of people in, like, the 60s and 70s. I mean, they didn't need social media to be great doctors. Why do I need one? It's a different world. The world changes, it evolves. Yeah, because <laughs> last week I went to the movie theaters, and okay, get this, not only was the movie theater like just like, so obnoxious, people's cell phones going off, for one, and then like kids crying, like jumping around on seats, this guy right Sounds in front terrible. of me directly, I couldn't even pay attention to them, because I was paying attention to this guy right in front of me, who was on his phone the entire movie, like, not even putting it down one second, just completely there, scrolling through, what was I going to say, you know, keep off your phone, you right. tell them. Are you just trying to be ironic? And I'm in the dress. It's so, so I just like, care less about it because I'm tired of even hearing about it. Yeah, you know, you're gonna have to go to live by yourself in a hut. Tried. It's it's almost impossible to get away from. Who did this? What, what are you talking? Read about? it. Who did this? What are you talking about? Who did this? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I don't understand what's going on. I'm not sure what flag day is. That was just. I mean, I have a degree in US history. It's just, it's completely when it's just flag day. Celebrate your flags.
Social media has gotten completely out of hand. I noticed it myself. I was at a concert on a date, and I was watching the band play through my phone because I was recording it, and I was going to put it on social media. And I say to myself, you have two more important things to be paying attention to here. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? I thought we could be together. I really do love you. I just... I just needed you to know because... I don't... I just don't want to be here anymore if I can't have you. I'm so afraid to admit it. Because I, I think that you turned me down or something. And how many like times did you pee? Whoa. Well. Okay. There's nothing wrong we'll talk with me. About it later. We don't need to discuss this right now. It's not a big deal. 